all of us. You pull on the door handle and it breaks off in your hand. So I'm going to show you how you can fix it yourself for less than 10 bucks. Now the door handle may be on the outside, but what holds it on is on the inside, so we got to open the door. Open it goes. So you have to take the inner door panel out. We just unscrew all the screws we see. And out that come. Don't forget this little screw too. Then just get a screwdriver and start prying off the cover. Pops around. And off it comes. Then you peel this plastic stuff to get an access here. So I'm wearing these gloves. This tire will get on you and make a mess. So wear gloves. But of course the engineers have to do nutty stuff like putting these star bolts inside. So you need to use one of these special little sockets that fit on there. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't put regular bolts. Side part here just snaps off and comes out of the way. And be sure to save this little rubber grommet. You're going to use this over to seal it when you're done. Now, unfortunately, the second screw that holds it in is hiding in here and you can't get to it. So you have to take these three off and this off to get enough clearance to get it off. And you have to unclip the electronics for the electronic door lock so the whole thing will slide back. And once we slide that out of the way, if we look inside, there's a little screw that we got to take off right in there. It just screws out and off comes the outside cover. And then you just wiggle the handle and get it off. And you snap it in place on the outside so it fits into the little grooves here. Get the cover piece, you see the bolt holes on the inside. And it snaps in here then we bolt it on the inside. And at least here we're lucky, because when you look inside, the bolt that puts it in place actually has a little lip around it, so it stays in place, and at least you don't have to worry about that falling out while you do all the work. You slip the locking assembly so the electric park is in a hole, and then the bolt holes line up here, and you bolt it up. And you tighten them up, and plug the plug back in. And before we finish putting it together, Let's close it and see if it works. It closes, it opens. Success! And guess what? It cost me less than 10 bucks. I just went online on Amazon and bought the cheapest one I could get, and it works perfectly fine. So the next time your door handle breaks off in your hands, heck, why not fix it yourself for 10 bucks? And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit ScottyKilmer.com. And I'll answer them as soon as I get done flying this plane. <laughs>